Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tara and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at the person on your mind in love and what they were thinking the last time they were thinking of you. So what they thought the last time they were thinking of you. Okay, so we're going to take a look into their thoughts. By the way, we're on a roll today and this is not planned because in the first video I did today, um, I started at 1-1, one, one, well, 11-11 and today we're starting, well, we started setting up at 2-2-2 two, 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 and it was not planned but came out like that. So that's really cool to see. I'm excited to see what messages come up. By the way, uh, you know, as I was about to start your reading, you know, my next door neighbor started playing music and it started annoying me because they always play music just as I'm about to record. <laughs> and I guess what I feel here from the energy since we're doing your video on like your person's thoughts, you know, your person may think of you and then something like annoys them or disturbs them. Like for example, this could be for all three piles or just those that resonate, you know, a general message for everyone. You know, like let's say your person is at work and they're thinking of you and then all of a sudden they're daydreaming and then all of a sudden their boss walks in and they have to look busy. Or for example, let's say they are daydreaming about you and then uh, someone calls them. Th those are just like small examples. It doesn't have to be exactly like that, but that's the vibe I feel here. So we're going to be using the messages from Mermaid's Oracle deck, and I'm going to show you all your crystals that we're going to use today. So for pile number one, we have Rose Quartz. By the way, in this type of reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. So for pile number two, we have Red Cat's Eye. And for pile number three, we have this Golden Cat's Eye. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Side note, the energy of disturbances is here. Because <laughs> like really, like really, I'm, you know, trying to do the second half of the intro saying, you know, pick whichever pal you're most drawn to. And then these kids that are living with me, they're like trying to be all funny and knock on the door and then run away and laugh. So I don't know if some of you have a person that has siblings and does silly little things like that. <laughs> It's not going to resonate with everyone, but maybe some people. Um, anyways, pick whichever pile you're most drawn to, the one that is calling out to your soul the most, and that will be your pile for today. And if your intuition is drawing you to more than one pile, there could be a reason for that. There could be more messages there for you. So just trust your intuition. Once you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below. And then I'll see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this rose quartz crystal and the mermaid with the positivity card from the messages from Mermaid's Oracle, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what they were thinking the last time they thought of you. Okay, so we're going to use the Starseed Oracle deck and the Ethereal Visions Tarot, so just take what resonates, leave the rest when I tap into your energy. So... The first thing I'm getting from this pile is, you know, since you chose the rose quartz crystal and, you know, this mermaid has a pink tail. Pink is the color of love, unconditional love. I feel this pile has, your person has a lot of love for you and this was in their thoughts. And, you know, since this heart is a big, big, big rose quartz heart, <laughs> 
maybe in this person's thoughts in the in the last time they were thinking of you you know they were thinking about your big heart and how much of a big love they have for you and I guess what I feel here is this person was thinking about how cute you are and picking up on the energy of you being like cuteness overload of you having a really beautiful smile or laughter or something about your happiness makes this person happy. That's the first vibe I get here. Like very, very cute. They love your smile. Something about that. That's what they were thinking. And I'm picking up on maybe even they love to make you smile or love to make you laugh or love to just be a little bit more playful with you. I'm picking up on them thinking about you and this may be my pile of people, just take what resonates, leave the rest. This may be my pile of people that have been healing their heart, okay? That have been healing and letting go of certain things, but also trying to move forward and reclaim your power, awaken to your power, and kind of like look at a different perspective of it where I'm seeing the full card clairvoyantly and it's like I'm stepping into this new beginning and I have just left behind the past. I've just left behind the Eight of Cups energy, right? About leaving behind the past. And I think this is your energy. And it's kind of like you are stepping into this new journey, but you're you're looking at the positive, the brighter side of life. You are awakening to certain possibilities of what joy may come into your life or what loving things may come into your life or just you know, beautiful things from the universe that the universe wants to bring you, okay? So I feel this uh, person thinking of the recent shift in your energy and how you are maybe even becoming more happy, becoming more positive, or they're just thinking very positive thoughts about you the last time they were thinking of you, if you don't resonate with that. I see some of you healing from family wounds or healing from... Uh, certain uh, themes of betrayal in your life because I'm seeing the five of swords clairvoyantly and I see the energy of like taking back your power by taking a step forward going on a leap of faith and trusting that the universe will bring you something much better as you sleep into this new beginning uh, so I see something about that and I see something about this person, like I'm looking at her hair and how free she is and how happy she is and her arms are open and it kind of reminds me of like giving someone a hug. So maybe this person was thinking about your hugs, uh, thinking about how they miss your hugs or they want to hug you or something about the way you are so sweet, uh, like you're just very sweet, you love to give affection, you love to give love. Uh, this is maybe my pile of people that are very generous, very playful, very, um, I feel like this person feels they can be free with you and they feel like you feel that same way and uh, it's kind of like you two can be yourselves in front of each other. You can laugh, you can play, you can be free. You don't have to take life too seriously when you're around each other and there is a sense of like, sweetness from you um, and you just giving a lot of affection and them loving your affection and your generosity. So let's take a look at your cards. So spirit guides on my pile number ones. I feel like I'm hearing you're the light of my life. You're the light of my life. <laughs> okay so spirit guides on my pile number ones. Did I say pile three? I don't know if I said pile three or if I was hearing pile three. Maybe some of you usually choose pile three or you also chose pile three. I don't know. May not resonate for everyone. So spirit guides on my pile number ones. May I please look into what they were thinking, what they thought the last time they were thinking of my pile number ones. 
Uh, weight of the world with boundaries, let it go. It's not yours to carry. I feel the energies of a throat chakra and I'm not sure if this is you or your person, but like a clearing of the throat chakra where one of you are becoming more comfortable with uh, speaking your truth, expressing the true authentic version of yourself or them and expressing what you truly feel or where your boundaries lie. So this could either be you or your person, okay, or both of you. Okay, and I feel like, you know, if you do relate to this energy of maybe being that one person that has such a big heart that you feel like maybe you've told yourself you feel too much or you care too much um that song by men i trust may be significant that one that's like um always alone i always care too much she says something along the lines of like i'd rather be the one that got played uh than to do that than to play the game or something along those lines i'm probably saying it wrong um, but if you have always felt like you have too big of a heart, like you're someone that has too much compassion, too much love for others, too much affection for others, or this is the way they feel if you don't relate, um, there's something about letting go of that or, yeah, letting go of that, that feeling of like you love too much or you love too hard because that is your gift, that is your superpower, and to love hard, to feel hard, is to be human. When we close off our hearts, we are closing off all feelings. When we close off our hearts to bad people or to people that don't reciprocate the generosity we give, uh, you know, those relationships are imbalanced. I think you're noticing that. Uh, or this person is noticing some imbalanced relationships they have in their own life. But then that just means that's that that person where you have an imbalanced relationship, it's not either things need to balance out by setting boundaries and speaking the truth, either from you or this person, or it's kind of like that person isn't meant for you or them. Like, I'm not saying about your person. I'm saying about, like, you and maybe this person thinking about you and maybe how you felt in your life. Do you get what I mean? And it's kind of like, I'm smelling perfume. Maybe some of you smell good. They're thinking of your scent the last time they thought of you. Uh, but it's like they're thinking, if it's for you, then you know, the right people will find you and people that have big hearts like you will find you and love you the same way. But uh, don't carry that. Don't carry that as like a weakness because it's not weak to love. We're here to love. We're here to freely and openly love, okay? And just because it feels like you love so big, it doesn't mean that there aren't people out there in the world that do love the same way you do. And I can tell that from personal experience as someone that's felt this way. This is just the vibe I got. If you don't relate to this, then this could be your person's energy. We have deep cellular healing with Arcturus energy, physical and emotional healing. So something about a healing journey, either you or them being on a healing journey. And if you are on your own healing journey, there's something about them being proud of you. Um, and maybe feeling deeply into what you're feeling, feeling empathetic towards you, okay? And then at the back of the deck, we have portal with doors are opening, you decide rewards wild card. Isn't this card so similar to the fool? It reminds me of like you're walking through a door and there's a new beginning. So isn't that such a cool synchronicity here? I'm also looking at her feet that are barefoot on the ground and I'm getting this vibe of like grounding. Like maybe you or them are becoming more grounded in this new beginning and are looking at the possibilities of the positive uh, possibilities that may happen regardless of what has happened in the past and kind of like I'm hearing the song Bag Lady by Erica Badu. And that vibe of like letting go of the bag of the weight 
of everything you've carried in the past and stepping into the new journey with the weight lifted off your back, feeling freer than ever. So that may be significant for you or your person. And just uh, speaking your truth more, I guess. Not carrying um, other people's problems, because I feel like this is my pile of people that are very empathetic. And it's, it's not like we can't be there for everyone or we can't be there for anyone. But what I want to say is we can't be there for everyone. We can't, we can't heal everyone. We can't help everyone. And sometimes that's a tough lesson to learn as someone that is very empathetic. Because I can relate to that. I feel like maybe you're part of my soul tribe because I feel I relate to your feelings. Um... But I feel you're learning to pour into you first and then overflow onto others. And maybe this person is thinking about you and your journey. Or this may apply to them in their own life. Uh, learning to pour into themselves and overflow onto those they love. So we have the star card showing up first, which does represent healing. So if you don't relate to the messages of healing and if your person doesn't, then I guess this may not be your pile. But we see this message again and again and again. And the star is all about hope. It's all about renewal. You know, the star card is the card after the tower card in the order of the cards. And the tower card is all about the destruction, like that type of chaotic energy but the star is the healing after the chaos um the hope and the renewal and the miracles okay and this energy of like the star is aquarius you know the water bearer the person that pours out onto everyone but i feel like either you or this person are learning to pour into yourselves and uh connect to faith to connect to uh, a kind of trust in a higher power or trust in the universe or trust in yourself if you don't believe in that. Um, and finding a connection between the spiritual realms and a groundedness on earth. We have the four of pentacles. So healing whatever one of you have been holding on to. So if you are healing, I guess this person in their last thoughts of you is feeling very proud of you for healing this, feeling very proud of you for uh, positively moving on. And if you relate to this person healing from something, they could be thinking about, you know, the love being healing, the love bringing them positivity, the love bringing them this type of feeling of there are people out there in the world that love as big as I do. And, um, you know, that feeling of hope, Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. So the first thought that came to my mind is they've been thinking about you a lot. I, I just felt my uh, third eye chakra open up so strongly when I pulled this card. And it's funny because we have a crown on the sword, which is basically the crown chakra. And... I think this person's been thinking about you a lot, but they've also been connecting to their intuition. I feel like you and this person have a very strong intuitive connection that is like closely linked. Uh, we have the Page of Swords. And we have the Six of Swords. So I think that's all the cards I'm going to pull. At the back of the deck, we have the Six of Wands. I just realized the cards were out of frame. I'm really sorry about that, but I organized them now. So the star is healing, four of pentacles is what you or this person have been holding on to. Ace of swords is that mental energy, them thinking of you a lot, the crown chakra opening, the third eye opening, um, them feeling into your feelings. Okay, so... This could be a very telepathic or empathetic connection. And uh, with the Four of Pentacles, I feel they feel, next to the star, they feel hope to hold on to this connection. 
And uh, with the Page of Swords, I'm getting this vibe of like um, them wanting to communicate their thoughts, their feelings to you, uh, what's on their mind, I guess. So maybe you can expect that soon. And I just noticed there are two flames here. <laughs> That's such a cool synchronicity. I said something about telepathic connection. This may not resonate with everyone and I don't want to just throw the word out there because this is a general reading, but some of you could relate to this person being your twin flame, but I want to say don't just take what I say because there are so many of you watching. I would suggest getting a personal reading from a reader you trust that can read twin flames, that is already understanding of the twin flame connection has been in one what I would personally recommend okay um yeah for some of you this could be a twin flame connection or some kind of soul connection and maybe this is what they were thinking like is this person my soulmate uh or is this person like some kind of soul connection like it's just weird, the synchronicities. Maybe this person's receiving signs about you. I'm looking at the clouds here and I'm getting this vibe of like them daydreaming about you a lot. And uh, wanting to speak to you more with the Page of Swords. Um, even if you two have been together for a long time, with the Page of Swords I'm getting this vibe of like, we're always going to get to know each other more. Even if we've held on to each other for a long time and we've been together for a long time it's like each day we as humans always grow and evolve so we always get to know this new and improved version of our of our lover or our person and it's like you are always constantly getting to know each other or they want to do this with you and uh, keep that flame that passion alive um, in your connection where you two are always coming together and I'm seeing like a tango a dance of love where you two are always flowing in the dance of love um and you know keeping it interesting with communication because we can never learn enough about a person even after being with them for years that's something I've learned even after being friends with someone for years you always learn more and more and more about them so that's what I feel there. And with the Six of Swords, some kind of big transition or change happening here where they feel the connection is very successful um, and very stable. So this is what I have for you, my pal ones. I really hope this reading resonated. I just checked my arm like I was checking my watch. I don't know if this person's thinking about time. Uh, like, let's say they daydream about you and they're like, checking their watch and they're like I need to focus on this <laughs> anyways uh I hope you enjoyed this reading please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I can't wait to see you in my next reading bye Hi there my pal number twos, if you chose this red cat's eye crystal and the mermaid with the card love from the messages from mermaids oracle deck, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what they thought the last time they were thinking about you. So please be aware this is a general reading, only take what resonates, leave the rest. So I'm kind of getting like a cheeky flirty vibe from you from this pile may not resonate with everyone but for some and I'm clairvoyantly seeing um the flower hibiscus if I'm not mistaken uh hibiscus relates to the energy of sensuality of but it's like a soft sensuality and it reminds me of like holidays and the sun and um, you know, like vacation because I think of Hawaii, like hibiscus and that softness, it has like a softness to it in its flower essence, but it's also very open. Um, and I guess it has a prettiness to it. So maybe this person is thinking of you in the last time they thought of you and thinking you're very pretty, very handsome, 
very hot. There is something very seductive about you, but it's like the soft kind of seductiveness and hotness. Um, there's something about them wanting to be a little bit more open with you because um, when I shuffled your card, so what I do is before I start the readings for pile two, I'll shuffle to get the energies of pile two and we have the courageous peony at the back of the deck and I clairvoyantly saw hibiscus and a open hibiscus. So I see that as like an open heart, like this person wanting to come in with an open heart, it says multifaceted unique nature, let yourself be seen. And that loyalty card wants to come out. So this person feels like you are very loyal to you, to them, like they're very loyal to you. They can trust you. Uh, some of you may be drawn to pile three because the card was trust. And they feel very protective over the relationship over you in general but they also feel like they want to courageously open up to you more as i look at this mermaid here i'm getting the vibe since she is naked but she kind of looks a little bit shy in the way she's covering herself up and like looking to the side it gives me this vibe like this person feels a little bit shy in front of you whether you realize it or not or feels like there's something about you that is so that is so sweet like i'm I'm seeing sweetness and like cherries or like those round lollipops. There's something about you that is so sweet or that is so flirty or so cheeky or so sexy but at the same time like I feel like this person's mesmerized by you I'm kind of getting the vibe like they they think they get lost in your eyes and it's kind of like you know when a person is like so hot but not just in the way they look but like when they do certain things or when they say certain things and you're like uh fanning yourself almost like ooh, like I'm so lucky to have that person like what <laughs> it's like that type of energy and feeling from your person like oh this person like takes my breath away like it's getting hot in here like uh but it's not just in terms of your physical appearance it is that but it's also like the way you say certain things this thing the things you say uh the way you open up your heart so much to this person your uniqueness um the way you're so courageous to open up your heart fearlessly and really show that person yourself and they want to do the same but it's kind of like because you're so hot it's like whew, how do I even show this person myself because I feel like a little bit shy now does that make sense so I feel that type of energy from your person and their thoughts and them thinking that you're someone very honest and they appreciate that they appreciate that you have similar values to them they feel like you are I'm hearing a match made in heaven which is kind of funny because at the back of this deck I just want to show you we have the nine of cups which is all about wish fulfillment so i'm not making this up <laughs> these are your shuffled cards so let's get into your reading i feel like with this naked mermaid i feel like this person wants to be more emotionally vulnerable with you and this is that what they were thinking the last time they thought of you like they want to be more open and emotionally vulnerable with you they want to let you into their world a little bit more because i'm seeing um, the Little Mermaid with Halle, Berry, Halle Bailey, I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, uh, where she's like, wish I could be part of that world, but I'm seeing it like part of your world, uh, like they want to be a part of your world, and they want to invite you into their world, into their brain, something about the brain and the mind and them being attracted to your intelligence and your mind and the way your mind works and kind of like wanting to merge with you. I'm hearing a song. Uh, it's Lana Del Rey and it's like, 
let's ch -ch change our DNA. And I'm seeing like this energy of like your cells merging together or you two merging together when you hug or when you kiss or when you're intimate. <laughs> Like this feeling of like when we're together, we're like merging together and we're one. That's very interesting. Uh, so I get this vibe of like this person wanting to invite you into their brain, wanting to be in your brain, wanting to be in your heart, wanting you to be in their heart, wanting to courageously open up to you and be seen by you in some way and like show you their unique parts of their personality that... They may be a little bit shy to show to people in general. Um, I'm really picking up on a shyness this person has. But it's not bad. It's not like a bad shyness. It's more so like I'm so attracted that I'm getting shy. Like there's an innocence here to the love I'm feeling between the two of you. And I'm saying love because we have a love card here. I'm not just throwing that word around. I mean, they're thinking about the love. <laughs> so what they thought the last time they were thinking of my pile number twos, please. Okay, we have Earth with learning how to be human in the world, but not of it. I feel like this person is learning to open up, learning to love. I'm getting that with these two card combinations. Like, maybe this... Maybe you're like this person's first love, or if not, maybe you're this person's first healthy love or first longest relationship. So, for example, let's say, you know, or maybe they've been in relationships before, but it hasn't been like this intense with this this much feelings or this much like vulnerability towards each other. And it's kind of like they're learning how to be a good lover uh, how to be a better partner, how to open up more, how to really communicate better, how to, uh, you know, be more truthful, be more honest. And since her eyes are closed, maybe see things they don't see. Like, you know, when um, we don't always see what we're doing that may potentially hurt our partner. And I'm not saying that they are hurting you, but it's like they don't want to hurt you. They see you as like this flower and they don't want to, like, crush this flower up. They want to keep this flower and hold this flower gently. You know what I mean? Um, we have the child of the cosmos with the intelligence of the universe lies within you. And look at the heart shining out here. And this person is facing up, so... And their eyes are also closed, so I'm getting this person's vibe of, like... Maybe they don't always, maybe trust doesn't always come easy to them because at the back of the child, we have uh, the back of the deck, we have the golden children with inner child tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. And I was talking about this person having like an innocence with you, like, let's just hold hands, like, let's just look into each other's eyes. Let, I'm hearing, like, let me make a playlist for you. Let me do sweet things for you. Let me show you my heart, uh, show you my soul. It's like this person sees the love very deeply. And I'm noticing this one card wanting to come out. Oh, big picture thinking. Okay, so where was it? It was another card. I'm just trying to find it. Oh, it was this one. This one wanted to come out. The seas of Mintaka was seeing potential and bringing unconsciousness to light. And Mintakan beings are very loving beings. They love with the sense of unconditional love. They usually, when I've done readings for clients and I see, you know, their soul origins or they have past lives in Mintaka, I will see, well, this is just from my personal experience from doing readings, you know, it doesn't have to be a fact, but I usually see they have a divine gift of love or that sense of unconditional love and they're here to bring that to earth. And I feel like this person feels like with you, there's a lot of potential because it says seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. So with you, they feel like there's a lot of potential to bring that unconditional love they have been longing for. And there's something here about like a soul remembrance, like... I feel like I've known you before uh, and then feeling a lot of depth with you, feeling like 
they can open up deeply to you and open up their emotions to you and something to do with their inner child wounds has maybe prevented them from opening up and trusting but when it comes to you they see the potential in your connection they see that you're truthful honest trustworthy and it makes them open up more um I don't know if this is bad to say but like I'm seeing a vision of a dog right and spirit is just giving an example like let's say this dog is scared um maybe its owners haven't been Maybe its owners haven't been nice to this dog and it's a little bit scared of humans. Um, maybe this person feels like they are a little bit different to humans or they feel like I'm, they're not completely from here or completely like from Earth. Like maybe they feel like an alien or like I'm hearing a fish out of water. I don't know. Uh, that type of vibe of like not feeling like they truly fit in. But in their thoughts, they feel like with you, you make them feel like seen. You make them feel like they can open up those sides of them that maybe others have called weird. I'm feeling like maybe for some of you, this person has had like people call them weird or people be like um, different to them when they start to show their whole personality and maybe they haven't said this person was weird but like it showed through the actions or like this person maybe not having people be honest or truthful and going back to that vision of the dog you know the dog is scared of people right but you know we slowly open up to this dog and we're soft with this dog and now they come to us slowly and more and more and more and I guess I was seeing that vision. So I guess this person in their thoughts, I'm translating that to like they're becoming more trusting of you. Uh, so yeah, definitely you may resonate with pile three and their intuition is leading them towards you. Their intuition is telling them that this love is right for them. They're looking up to a higher power. Even if they do not see the future or where the future potentially lies with you, because we never know where the future is going to go. It's like they have a certain type of trust in the universe, uh, in the cosmos. And it feels very cosmic with you. Like, I'm tasting food. I don't know if you and this person like to eat together. Or maybe they were eating when they were thinking of you. So, spirit guides on my pile number twos. I'm hearing spicy. Like, you're very spicy. You're very funny. Uh... You know how to make this person feel comfortable and safe. I'm seeing you two have a lot of past lives together, definitely. And I'm seeing one particular past life in Egypt and one particular past life. Um, I don't know if it's the 50s or what, but it's like they wear those feathers on their heads. I'm not sure. If anyone knows, just let me know down in the comments. Um... And maybe even Hawaii or like tropical places because I was picking up on that earlier. Um, and maybe like even starseed energies if you relate to that. Like maybe you two have been on a planet together elsewhere. So spirit guides of my pal twos. What they thought the last time they were thinking of my pal twos. We have the judgment card. Yeah, I really feel like this person is connecting to their intuition in some way when they're thinking of you. Like, maybe these thoughts they're thinking are, like, actually about your connection. Does that make sense? So, like, let's say I'm thinking about a person, but I'm thinking certain things, but I'm actually channeling without realizing. I'm getting that vibe here. Like, this person maybe doesn't realize how intuitive they are. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Fool card. Yeah, it's like they're willing to take a leap of faith and love with you. Even if, like, in the past they had trust issues or they felt they couldn't open up with you, they're willing to take a leap of faith and kind of look towards the future with positivity we have the six of cups so something happened in their past with the six of cups that made them not trust easily and we have the knight of swords in reverse 
think that's all the cards I'm going to use. We have the three of pentacles. So I just want to show you something, my pile number twos. Um, I put my mermaid oracle to the side, right? And I kind of put it to the side of the desk and one card fell off on the floor and it says dive deep. And I said something about like this person wanting to have deeper depths with you or feeling like they can be very deep with you or feeling a deep love with you. Uh, so that's an interesting synchronicity here. In their thoughts of you, they feel like, you know, when it comes to love, they want to, like, maybe they've always been that type of person that wants to take it slow with the Nine of Swords in reverse. I feel like they're not that type of person that just jumps into relationships or just uh, kind of, like, rushes into things with people. They really want to get to know people as a result of trust issues stemming from the past with the Six of Cups. Um, and I guess they're like they are self-aware of this if they're thinking of this like um I don't know why I'm hearing light as a feather stiff as a board isn't that like a game they play like in magic or something I don't know what that means maybe this person feels lighter with you or feel like because what I remember from that game if I'm not mistaken I've seen it in one movie um, I can't remember what movie it was. It was that movie where she's like, jealous, jealous. <laughs> I'm sure someone will know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyways, I, what I remember from it, they put their hands around the person and then they say that and say it again and say it again. And apparently the person like starts floating into the air I don't know if it's scientifically or spiritually even true or just a fad but um maybe you make this person feel like they're floating or like they are lighter around you and I guess with you there's the certain type of like gentleness to you and the certain type of like softness to you like I'm hearing you make this person's inner child feel safe and I feel like when this person has been in relationships in the past it's like they always wanted to plan everything plan what's going to happen next plan okay like if this person hurts me this is what I'm going to do and with you it's like it's almost like this person can let go of that plan or let go of that thing of like it must go like this um, maybe this person never felt like they had control over the environment as, as their child-like self in their inner child wounds. Uh, but with you, it feels like they can kind of let go of control. And with you, I feel like this person finds you quite dreamy, quite ethereal. Uh, maybe they like that you're intuitive as well. And they feel like with the Eight of Wands, I'm getting this vibe like, I can move forward with you. I can see a future with you. I can see potential with you. So this is what I have for you in what they thought about you the last time they thought of you. So I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. By the way, I'm also hearing princess, prince treatment, something like that. Or you treat this person like a king or a queen and they want to do the same. Anyways. Bye! Hi there my polymer threes if you chose this golden cat's eye crystal and the mermaid with the card trust. This reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at what they were thinking of you in their last thoughts of you. Like the last time they thought of you what they were thinking of you okay. The funny thing is I was gonna say something about just take what resonates by the way leave the rest. The funny thing is I was going to say something about seeing something about cat hair. Like I was looking at the card and it almost looked like there was a cat hair on it. So I don't know like take it as it resonates this may be a specific message for some but if you have cats or this person has cats 
or you love animals, or they love animals, something along those lines. But I was gonna say, like, what? Like, what about cats? And then, I mean, you chose the golden cat's eyes, so that's so interesting. Um, by the way, some of you may have been drawn to pile number two, and if you were, then that's your sign to go and watch that as well after this. Uh, but if not, also, okay, some of you may be from pile two, uh, because I spoke a lot in Pile 2 about opening up and trusting, so uh, this card is about trust. <laughs> so let's get started with your reading. In their last thoughts of you, I'm hearing that song by Kanye West that's like, I feel free, something like that. I can't remember exactly how it goes or what it's called. If I'm not mistaken, it's something about something about like always falling in love and the more you like want that love or chase after that love, the more it pushes that person away. So, but I'm specifically hearing the part where he's like free, I feel free. Uh, so let me just Google if it is that song, make sure. Because I don't want to be having comments where you're like... You're wrong. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I sometimes get comments like that. Okay. You know, I'm only human. I can sometimes get things wrong. Let me just check. I'm not sure. Like, maybe I'm wrong about those lyrics because I'm looking at it and there's a song called Free Ghost Town Part 2, but it says some other lyrics. So maybe I'm getting it wrong. I don't know. But he talks about being free. So maybe, th I guess the part we're hearing is about free. Like maybe this person, in their thoughts of you, like they feel free with you. And if that song is significant to you, let me know. Um, or maybe like that part I said about uh, something about like the more you chase after love, the more the person like pushes you away maybe that's how this person felt in the past but since I couldn't find it like maybe I was getting those lyrics for a reason like maybe this is how this person felt in the past but it's no longer like that with you um and maybe this is why we have the trust card like this may not resonate with everyone but maybe this person has had trust issues in the past or has felt like every time they you know, wanted love, like the person wasn't there for them or uh, wasn't a trustworthy person or wasn't, you know, having some kind of reciprocal connection with them or maybe they felt like they were chasing after their previous person and like every time they chase, the more the other person would run away. Like maybe this person was I'm hearing like with an avoidant personality style person. So yeah, anyways, I guess with you, they feel free. They feel like they can open up and trust you more because this mermaid is naked and there is like a little leaf covering her. <laughs> so I feel like the sense of emotional vulnerability this person has with you and they feel like since you are so open, I'm hearing since you were such an open book, in their lost thoughts of you, they feel like they can trust with you. They feel like they can open up to you more. Um, and if you are from pile number two, if you remember, I spoke about like, oh my gosh, there's literally a cat hair on my hand. I don't even have a cat. Like what? <laughs> Anyways, if you were from pile number two, uh, we saw like a mermaid standing towards the side and she looked kind of shy, but this mermaid looks more open. She's facing towards us with her bat body language. Uh, so if you were from pile number two, like maybe this person uh, feels like they can be a little bit more open with you or just in general, like open with you, like in their body language since you're such an open book they feel like they can be open with you for some reason i'm seeing clairvoyantly like a shipwreck i don't know what that means but maybe this person has gone through some tragic things in their life and um shipwrecks aren't nice you know because 
I guess it's obvious what it is, but I guess with you, there is no fear. There is no fear. It's like I can completely be open. This person has the same values as me. This person um, shows me they have trustworthy traits. This person shows me that I can rely on them. You have a heart of gold. This is why you were drawn to this pile. And this person feels something about your eyes are so beautiful. Some of you have big eyes or some of you... It doesn't matter what your eyes look like, but there's something about your eyes that are very beautiful and uh, dreamy, like this person almost sees sparkles in your eyes. And there's something so kissable about your lips, and this is what they were thinking the last time they thought of you. There's also something very sexy about you. Um, but I'm also hearing the word classy, like you're classy, um, and you're very open with them. I'm, I don't know why I'm seeing so many sea things, like, I don't know if this person loves the sea or if it's just the vibe I'm getting from this mermaid card, <laughs> and, like, inside jokes my guides make with me or your guides, uh, because this is psychic siren terror, <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm clairvoyantly seeing, you know, those animals, those sea animals that can blend in with the sand, I don't know what they're called, uh, but I'm clairvoyantly seeing that and all of a sudden tasting sand. Like, what's, what's going on with these visions? Um, what I get from that or what I take from that is either this person has had people camouflage themselves or blend themselves in and make themselves seem trustworthy and seem like they're going to be there and seem like they are transparent, but in reality they are covering themselves up. But with you, they don't feel that. Or uh, this person feels like they don't have to camouflage themselves with you. Like they can kind of be free. They can kind of be themselves in front of you. Like, you know, on some level, I feel like we all... No, I'm not going to say we all because I'm not everybody. But like on some level, like me, myself, I've sometimes felt like I needed to mask in front of certain people or like I couldn't fully be myself in front of them because either like maybe I knew they were a judgmental person or maybe I knew like this person, like I'm not comfortable with them yet so I can't fully show them all parts of my personality and maybe it's just because me, like I've been called weird by people before, uh, but like maybe... There is something here about like this person feeling with you, they can be themselves. With you, they can fully be open. With you, they can show parts of their personality and don't have to camouflage themselves. Does that make sense? So that's something I see here. Uh, this person wants to touch your cheeks or something about you touching their cheeks or something about your touch or touching you. Um, now I'm hearing that song that's like, Touching you, touching me, something. <laughs> Isn't it sweet, Caroline? I don't know. Um. Anyways, let's use your cards. This is the Starseed Oracle deck, the uh, Ethereal Visions Tarot. And we have you got the love at the back of the deck when I shuffled to get Pile 3's energies. Uh, and this card talks, like this card, it says your codependency and boundaries on the card, but I don't feel that vibe from this connection. I feel like this vibe of like, we're two peas in a pod, we're a package deal. Um, yeah, I get that vibe, like we're a package deal. <laughs> uh, this person sees you as one. I'm looking at the crystal you chose and uh, let me tell you in a minute let me just shuffle so spirit guides of my pile number threes what they were thinking the last time they thought of my pile threes what was on their mind when they thought of pile threes the last time we have all past lead home with inner authority intuition and turn your gaze within for some reason I feel like very hot in your energy this person finds you very hot that's the first thought coming to my mind. Or they were in a very hot place, like the gym. Or they were feeling hot, like in a hot place or a hot car. Or 
they were kind of like sweating or in the sauna i don't know uh we have you're not for everyone with embrace your weirdness face your true north oh my gosh i think that is the synchronicity <laughs> my mind is blown my pile threes so i guess maybe this person has felt quote unquote weird uh before and with you they feel like they can embrace their weirdness they can embrace their silly side um maybe they have realized that not everyone is gonna like them for being them but the right people are the right people are gonna make them feel like although they can turn their gaze within and be you know comfortable being alone and be comfortable with uh expressing those sides of themselves alone it's like you know we I feel this person thinking, you know, like, people are important. We as humans are not supposed to be alone. We as humans are supposed to have that connection with others, are supposed to have those, you know, safe spaces or those places with people where we can truly be ourselves. And, you know, we might not have that with everyone. Like, for me, I can say, for example, you know, like, not just me but like I've noticed some people can't be themselves in front of family because maybe they don't see things the same way but it's important for them to have friends that they can be themselves with or a lover they can be themselves with do you get what I mean and I think this person was coming to that realization that it doesn't mean that if they can't fully embrace that with those people, it doesn't mean that those people are bad people. It just doesn't mean that they are fully aligned or it just doesn't mean that they must spend so much time with them. They must spend more time with the people they f they fully feel like they can be themselves around, that they fully feel like they can be around and they're not everyone's cup of tea, but the right people are going to be drawn to them for a reason. The right people are going to keep them around and make them feel safe and open and loved. And I guess with the crystal you chose, I was feeling a vibe of like some of you like having a caramel hair. It may not resonate with everyone, but I'm looking at the mermaid and she has like a brown hair. Or like something about like you being sweet like caramel or um, maybe like your skin tone. I don't know. Or some of you uh, like I'm seeing lips and like lipstick, like wearing lipstick that is a little bit more of a brown tone or like uh, having lips that are sweet like honey I just heard. So something about that is coming through. It may not resonate with everyone. At the back of the deck, we have Inner Earth with You'll Survive This New Solutions and Beginnings. So I feel like with you, I'm feeling a solar plexus healing and uh, this person feeling like they've known you before in past lives because behind this card, we have Lost Lands with Soul Memories and Gifts. You, you've done this before. So I get this vibe like they feel like they've known you forever or they feel like they've known you before. There's something so familiar about you. Um, there's a song by Snow Allegra where she's like, there's something so familiar about you. And in the beginning of your reading, I don't know what it is, but like with Lana Del Rey, because I heard Lana Del Rey in Pal 2, like I don't know if some of you like her. Um, I heard that song by her, Yayo. I think it's Yayo, but there's a line where she's like, I need you like a baby. So I feel like this person needs you in some way, but it's not in a way like they're needy and it's not like in an unhealthy way. It's more so like maybe this person learning. I think I forgot about that song, but then now Spirit reminded me of it. Uh, maybe I needed to understand the message more before I could interpret it. But I feel like this person is learning that if they are someone like that's really, really independent or someone that's been like, you know, like, I don't need anyone because maybe they've been hurt before or they've been made to feel like they can't really rely on anyone. Like every time they relied on someone, they'd get disappointed with you. It's like maybe you've made them have some kind of realization or some kind of, I'm feeling spiritual, like, intuition of a realization. Does that make sense? So, like, 
they're downloading something in their intuition because I felt my crown chakra open up and it's like a realization they think but actually it's their intuition talking to them in their thoughts um and this person realizing with the solar plexus healing sorry if the messages are a little bit jumbled up but I'm just trying to channel them in the best possible way with the solar plexus healing they're learning that they're worthy of love okay they're learning they can be themselves in front of someone and not have to dim themselves or water themselves down and what they are learning is they don't have to be so independent or they don't have to not need anyone it's okay to open up and need people and rely on certain people we love and I feel like they came to this realization recently like it's okay for me to need people. It's okay for me to need love or need community. You know, uh, it's not in an unhealthy way, I feel. And I feel like with you, there's something about their thoughts and them thinking, I can survive any challenge when it comes to me. I'm hearing me and my baby. <laughs> like me and my baby, we're together, strong. We hold each other up. Uh, we can take on any challenge together and we'll find new solutions to that. So let's take a look at your tarot cards. The Queen of Cups wants to come out. So maybe they're thinking about you being a person that is so empathetic, so compassionate, so loving, so deep, you know, like you really pour into this person. There's something very dreamy about you too. There's something about your hair too, like this person really loving your hair or thinking your hair smells sweet or liking the touch of your hair or the look of your hair, uh, thinking that you're someone really genuine, really with an open heart, uh, thinking you're someone that feels things so deeply, but they love the fact that you're someone with that sensitive side. And I don't mean that in a bad way. They love that about you because they know you know, like, as me in my perspective, as someone that feels things so deep, you know, I don't say things to a person that could potentially hurt them because my feelings are so intense that I know if I say that to them, like, I don't want to hurt their feelings, you know. So I guess maybe this person's thinking that way of you. And <laughs> this is going to sound so weird. I don't know if I want to say this. But I even, like, I heard a fart clairvoyantly, clairaudiently. <laughs> I feel like this person feels in their last thoughts, like, they can be comfortable enough to do things like that around you. <laughs> I don't know, like, why I'm picking that up, but I'm picking that up. I feel like this person thinks you are someone that pours into them and... They don't really feel disappointment around you because you're in this energy. Like maybe they felt disappointment around others, but with you, it's not. There's something where they feel like they just flow with you. They feel like they just connect to you on a deep emotional level. Uh, so they like your personality. This is what they were thinking. So spirit guides on my pile, number threes. They think you're so compassionate, so understanding, so open. Uh, they feel like they can open up their emotions with you and be an open book with you. So spirit guides on my pile number threes. They feel like you're so gentle. Uh, what were they thinking the last time they thought of my pile threes? You have the judgment card. This card came out in pile two. I don't want to keep mentioning pile two, but we see it here. So... We have the Six of Cups. This card also came out for them. And the Eight of Wands. Also for them. So you see, I'm not making this up. Like, there are similar themes here. Uh, but I think we're talking about most of it. So if you don't feel like you want to waste <laughs> watching it, it's okay. We have the Death card. Um, and I'm looking at the person specifically crying on this death card over here. Okay, then we have the three of cups. 
I don't know why I pulled an extra card here because I was just gonna pull five. Um, we have the Sun card. So maybe with you, they feel like they get more than they expect. That's the vibe I'm picking up because I didn't mean to pull so many cards. At the back of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So I'm hearing the word hyperfixation or hyper obsession. So I don't know if that's with you or like maybe people in their past made them feel like they had to obsess over them because maybe they weren't making them feel safe in love. Um, take it as it resonates or maybe this person feels like they have certain hyper fixations on certain hobbies or interests or you or an obsession over you but I, I feel like it's not in a bad way it's not in a creepy way um, so with the death card I'm specifically looking at this person crying and I'm hearing like I've cried so many tears and now I'm hearing that song by Magdalena Bay so I'm hearing lots of songs for you I don't know if this person likes songs or you like songs or was listening to music while thinking of you um, but the song is called I Don't Want to Cry Anymore and I feel like this person feels like they want to experience the happiness, the sunshine with you. They don't want to be sad anymore. They don't want to feel disappointment anymore. They don't want to cry anymore. I know that in life we can't always avoid that, but it's like maybe a large part of their life involved a lot of disappointment or involved a lot of sadness. But with you, it feels like the sunshine is coming back. It feels like the rain is going away and the sun is coming back out. That's what I'm seeing here. And I'm specifically seeing like those old books clairvoyantly that have like, as I look at this death card, like I'm seeing it clairvoyantly, like those old books that almost like look brown, the papers, and it's like they have writing on it or something. Um... So I guess maybe I take that as like this person likes books or likes reading or something to do with books or you having a lot of knowledge, them having knowledge from their sadness or I take it as uh, maybe in the old book of their life, like the one part of their life, it was like they consider it the old memories and maybe they're recreating a new book of their life does that make sense take it as it resonates I don't know what it means I'm just trying to interpret it but I could be wrong um with you they feel I'm getting the vibe of like the three of cups with you they feel like life is becoming a celebration again like life is becoming so happy again um, and they never thought this was possible with you they feel hope with you feel they feel like they can move forward from the past with the eight of wands next to the six of cups and that's a vibe I get here like with you they feel like not only can you two have love but also a friendship but also have that sense of like laughing together smiling together you know really having banter I'm hearing or making each other laugh and I'm hearing like not making each other cry I don't know why but I'm hearing that I don't know why I'm seeing this like maybe it's for one specific person here like a person that had a head injury or your person and I'm not saying that is gonna happen because that's not at all the message I want to give um, but maybe one specific person here, it won't resonate with everyone has experienced that or their person. Anyways, uh, with the seven of pentacles at the back of the deck, I feel like in their thoughts, they felt like they can put an effort towards this connection and that you also put in a lot of effort. You give them more than what they even expect. And I think they're really grateful for that. They feel like you're a blessing in their life. So this was your reading, my pile number threes. This is all I have for you. I really hope this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye.